Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a performance test of the latest SOC. This is the Huawei Mate 30 Pro with the Kirin 990. And this is the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus with the Snapdragon 855. They are both good looking phone and the best of the best in Android. With Grid Bench 5, the benchmark just tests the CPU raw performance. 3, 2, 1, start. The Huawei Mate 30 Pro finished the test first and 781 for a single core and 2944 for multi core. And let's wait for the Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. 721 for single core, 2564 for multi core. Definitely the Kirin 990 is a bit faster. Next is the N22 test. As you can see, they are both running the version 8.1.0 and there are scores already, but I will do the test for you. Let's click the test again. Just look at the screen, the May 30 Pro is a bit smoother. Okay, they both finished the N22 test at the same time and as you can see, the Kirin 990 score a bit higher than the Snapdragon 855. Look at the CPU score, Kirin is a bit higher and the GPU score goes for the Snapdragon 855. Memory and UI is faster on the Kirin 990 and the temperature is about the same 36 degrees celsius on the Kirin 990 and 37 on the snapdragon 855 next is the 3d mark test let's start Okay, I can see some lags on the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Galaxy Note 10s start to lag. However, I just noticed the frame rate of the Mate 30 Pro here is higher than the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. There is about 21 frames per second on the Kirin 990 while it's only about 20 on the Samsung on the Snapdragon 855. The final result is here. In the Open GLES 3.1, the Kirin 990 got 5976 while the Samsung got 5702. Let's look at the detail of the scores. The graphic scores, they are so closed. Okay, the Kirin 990 just a bit faster. Okay, your score versus this model. I'm so lucky that I, I've got a pretty fast Mate 30 Pro that is faster than usual. And while my Samsung just at the 87% of all other models. Your scores versus popular devices, okay, versus all devices, they are both very good.
they score better than 99% of all other phones. They are both fantastic. Okay, the current is much cooler. 36 degrees Celsius to 48 degrees Celsius. And the Snapdragon 855 is at 38 to 42. That's the end of the video. If you like this video, thumbs up and share to your friends. And I will see you in the next video.